Darkness is the Prima Materia. It's where we all come from and where we're all going to when we die. The universe was created from the darkness. So were the demons. Sensation times. Humans' fascination with demons shaped the outline of their lives. Kings and peasants, rulers and farmers, witches and sages ask for help or guidance from the darkest rulers of the underworld. Are demons real? Is dark magic powerful as they say? Ina Witch and myself are embarking on a journey to a place where people don't ask these questions. We are on our way to Shamharush village in the Tubkal mountain where people still believe that everything they dream of will be given to them by the demon. Mount Tubkal, the highest mountain in the Arab world and second highest in Africa, is located in Morocco at 4,167 meters high. It has always been connected to magic as even the king of the jinns or demons is buried on its slopes. The Amazir people, the native tribes of North Africa and Morocco, believe that this place is very sacred. It is the burial place of Sidi Shamharush, the king of the jinns. The black birds were following us on our path. They were watching us. Local legends have it that these birds are the eyes of the jinn. They warn him about everyone who's approaching his abode. Since pre-Islamic times, the Shamharush village has been a place of pilgrimage. Thousands of people came here to ask for remedies, 
answers and the riches of the world from this powerful jinn. The rituals and sacrifices were made on a daily basis. Even today, we encountered many people still visiting the village for reasons and questions only known to them. Camels, cows, turkeys are amongst the animals that people bring as an offering to sacrifice for Shamharush. The white painted boulder that you can see here is the symbol of his tomb. Many come here to treat their loved ones from evil possessions and are willing to give anything in return. Can you hear the screams? Can you guess what's going on? Rumor has it that whatever is done here is not good. Regardless of what's going on in the village, this is a place of high power. You can feel it in the air. The vibrations of earth and rocks are low and very heavy here. Everything feels like it's under a spell. Time stops. You lose your grip on reality and your sense of belonging starts to disappear. One of the reasons we came here is to find out if this sacred place actually has power. Now that we know it, our next mission is to perform a ritual for ourselves and our clients. The best part of being a witch or mage is our ability to gain access to the doors otherwise closed. Unfortunately, we cannot share with you what's going on in the ritual, but you cannot reach the light if you've never dwelt in the darkness. Sometimes we need to enter the darkness so other people People like you will only stay in the light. We've been traveling around the world and discovering magnificent places of tremendous powers. We've encountered portals, gates, and places of ancient initiations. The Shamharuj village is definitely one of the most amazing enchanted locations on this planet. We felt during our time there 
that humans throughout the centuries might have abused the magnificent presence of this powerful king. It feels like he already left, fed up with the mortal mediocrity. But the earth, the mountains, and the blackbirds are still waiting for him to come back. Maybe one day he will return. Maybe he left his people forever. We can only say that the village itself still possesses the dark power of its Jin King. This place is the link between the two realms. And the Legion of Shamharush still roams here freely up to this day. <laughs>